Well, marmalised in Marseille, lacklustre in Lille. Will France be limp or lethal in Lille? We've got uh, Mirfog, 145 kilos. Penalty to England. 40 metres out. First no, opportunity. Me, the reason I reset the first one, I just felt too... I felt the guys were pushing across the midline, both teams, OK? So he doesn't have the same problems that his old mate Owen Farrell did in one of those World Cup matches. Were this pugilistic contest, you suggest that in the early stages England are leading it on points. They're leading by three points to nil. There is a penalty though, and this is straight in front, 45 metres out. And numerous times at 15. And that was it there, you see again, it's the will of the wisp from Marcus Smith, it's great, and he's dancing and he's prancing all of a sudden. He knocked over his first aid before he finally missed one with the last kick of the match, but... ...in a stadium, perfectly good stadium. The win against the England throw. Pass looking to counter. And here goes Kyle Fiku, and he's dangerous. And he's got the sprinters out wide. The dummy, that was quite outstanding. Barre with the inside pass. Magnificent, magnificent France. Henry Slade, it's well, it's the liner initially, it's going to Martin. That boy gets up again. Cross is pretty dexterous in the liner. Boys, can I get some and water? it is, it doesn't work the defensive pattern that, uh, that oh, England have brought up. Slade's gone out and he hits nobody. That's the decision that makes it. Barry gets in sent and just scoops the ball to Garrick. <laughs> and again, there is life after Dupont. The greatest counter attacking ball. Is that sometimes stolen? We have seen the all-court skills of the France captain. There's a penalty for France. Hopefully we'll let it play, but not any longer than that. We inevitably talk about a lot of the really big guys in this France side. We also talk about those who are fleet of foot. Yeah. But consider Francois Cross started that. It was the France may not be France's first choice fly half, but there is probably no better place kicker in the world. How important they are in rugby with big men like France have. Little wonder they're doing so well with those this evening. Six minutes to go in what has been a pulsating first half. Number. It's been pretty good, isn't it? Stade de Geelong. Significant match that as Tomo Ramos. There's a little bit of kidology here. It goes to Chesham. It's gone to ground again. Look, France looking to disrupt. I'm happy. I'm happy there on that far side. Mitchell. Slay. Oh, and through goes Lawrence. And England have their try. Simple as that. The men in white. Right. George Ford completes the formality. The referee blows his whistle for half-time. We have been superb at half-time. Entirely feasible here that the loser finishes in. A little sneak view there of Ellis Genge underwear. There goes Underhill. This is so good from England. Earl is away. Can he get there? When he was looking for support, how close was he to doing it himself? Freeman out wide. Smith loses his footing. The men in white picking up from where they left off at the end of that first 40. Mitchell considers the options. Go short. Lawrence barreling his way over. And he's Bien done Berry it. can't get him. And then it's the big lads up the middle. Underhill does well. Brought down by Olivon. And then Ben Earl, you think, for all of the money with his power, with his strength, he's going to get there. Mitchell prefers that blind side. And why not if Ollie Lawrence is there? Despite the arrival of Marcus Smith for England earlier this week to allow his squad to reset both physically and emotionally. Oh, and through goes Earl. And now surely they must finish it. Smith with a step. And they are in. England are rampant. Reported. He's made the break. Comes from the line out. This is far too easy. This Genge gives him the little pop pass. Beautiful. 
And then he's got the away for Marcus Smith on his right hand side. He's calling for the ball. A little step. He's in. <laughs> but believe me, they are the Sebastian Telfi Vanua. There's Antonio taking it at a standstill. Penalty advantage now to France. Marbaca. Le Garek. Lamont. Le Garek. They've got a numerical advantage. Olivon gets it away. And it is the youngster, the creator of that glorious try. It's uh, fantastic. 15, as you said, who could see the gap for a lot of other players. Nine play. last week in Cardiff. He's five from five in Lyon. On your own, making his second appearance. Gives way to Yoram Moafana. The ploy hack. It might work for France. Look at Pano! Pano to Fiku! And in the blink of an eye, France are back in front. He's just turned into the attacking chief. Top right. If only he was playing for Nottingham Forest, eh? Your beloved Nottingham Forest. They may not be down the bottom of the league. I think the TMO's trying to talk to the referee, but he just simply can't hear. It's so loud, it's just exploded. His role over the years for England. He was huge in that semi-final win in 2019 against the All Blacks. What a way it would be to sign off if he could score a try. A brilliant yes! hand! And here go England! And Freeman has his first Test match try. Made that try for Freeman. Watch this, watch this. Absolutely beautiful. Marcus Smith just shoveling on. Freeman in at the corner. There's still plenty of time. Still five minutes to go. One of the big moments of George Ford's career. Yes. And he's done it! Number seven, no you may have tackle. heard that from the referee. No arms tackle coming from Sam Underhill. There's Luku. Biel Biere! Pano! Had to be Pano. Biel Biere once more. Here's Luku. Two and a half minutes to go. It's still a penalty advantage. Talfi Fanua. Referee says he's seen enough. Well, yes. In the dying moments in test matches over eight, the last year eight, or so. No Andre Pollard of South Africa demonstrated he has ice in his veins. And now Tomai Ramos has done precisely the same. Been confirmed it was eight, so it was Ben Earl with a no arms tackle. Five seconds, so this will be going off from Luca into Rose Ed. Maxime Luku feeds the ball back to Ramos, and France's hero, France's match winner, finishes it off.